Anyways, I need to focus on gathering some gold. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna steal this ball fruit. Oh, how does that work? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. How's it going everybody? My name is Oompa and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. So guys, last time we played this, we discovered what lurked in the swamp. And quite frankly, I didn't like it. It was stupid. <laughs> it was pretty much physically handicapped. It was the most ridiculous creature in the entire game. Its neck got really long and stuff and its little short arms couldn't move around. You can't swim with it. It was totally useless. It sunk to the bottom. It was terrible, guys. And I hate to start off the, this episode with just absolute complaining and bitching and moaning. <laughs> but I didn't like it, okay? I really was not happy with the Swamp Lurker, all right? So devs, fix it. Fix it, okay? Papa wants you to fix it. <laughs> the turtle was completely ridiculous and essentially a waste. I, I spent probably 30 minutes gathering 101 golden coins in order to play as the creature and I was so disappointed by it. It was horrible, guys. If you haven't gotten it yet, don't worry about it. It's stupid, it's super difficult to control. If anything starts attacking you, you can't defend yourself because your neck's like all stupid. And then you go in your shell and you're like And you can't do anything, okay? You just go in your shell. What's the point of that? <laughs> so you just can't defend yourself at all? It doesn't make any sense. Because you can still get hurt when you're in your shell. So that's how I died. I died in my shell at the end of the episode, last episode. Check it out, why don't you guys? There'll be a link in the description. Not really. I always forget to put links in the description. <laughs> Anywho, guys, they added another pretty cool creature. I know they added a bunch of small stuff like worms and other stuff they added that I don't really know, but they also added one more large creature, right, guys? One more large creature. I don't know why I'm doing the small fingers. One more large creature. <laughs> it's a hammerhead shark and it's on the ocean map and it only costs 40 golden coins. For a small price of 40 golden coins, you yourself could become a hammerhead shark. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play on the ocean map. I'm gonna level up or gather money or whatever. Sell my body on the street coin in the ocean to the, to the locals. That's what I'm gonna do to gather, to gather my money. And I need 40 golden doubloons in order to unlock the the hammerhead, there it is. Hello, hammerhead! And his ability is really cool. Passive, electro reception. When moving, slowly gains electric sense around it. Okay, so when it's moving, it's improper grammar. I know these guys are not from, uh, from any sort of English speaking country, but this is dreadful. <laughs> when moving, slowly gains electric sense. Not how you spell sense. Around it, which impulsively enlights everything with life in it. That is a sentence written by a kindergartner. No offense, but yeah, complete offense, because that's embarrassing. At least, I guess they just use Google Translate, maybe. I don't know, I'm not trying to roast the devs or anything, but I just think it's kind of funny. <laughs> Anyways, guys, typos aside, let's go ahead and start off as a Bebos, which is something that I have not played as in quite a while, and the ocean map looks completely different. I didn't think they had all the DirectX 11 stuff on the ocean map, I guess they do now. Look at the lighting in this place. It's much less fun looking. It looks kind of f***ing scary now, guys. <laughs> I'm not as happy now. I want it to go back to the way it was. And it doesn't seem like there's hardly any creatures down here. There's an octopus. I'm gonna go kill the octopus. Come here, you little bastard. Come here, Bebo's coming at you. There we go. Come on, you little eight-legged fiend. Stop swimming away so fast. I can't wait till the octopus will be able to ink you. That'll be pretty cool. Let's shoot a giant, a giant cloud of ink right in your face, which will do essentially nothing, but it'll still be cool. It'll be pretty cool. I, I would like that feature. There's a brow rag down there. I don't see any sort of bait fish except for these dead Bebos here, which are my my kinsmen. And they got killed by something and they're just they're just rotting here. What the hell is that Nemo? They added Nemo, guys! F you Nemo! I'm gonna kill you! Come here, you little rascal! There we go. I'm gonna eat myself a Nemo! <laughs> there we go. Fish are friends, not food. No, actually they're food, especially when it's Nemo. Hey! You dick! Little son of a bitch just stole my Nemo meat! I'm pretty positive Nemo is new, guys. I don't think I've ever seen him before. He could be- he could be old, but I'm not completely sure. Last time I played this, it was the, uh, Crab Madness, so I don't really know. Anyways, I need to focus on gathering some gold. I'm gonna actually- I'm gonna steal this ball fruit. Oh! How does that work? <laughs> my body didn't even increase in size at all. And somehow I, I absorbed that delicious ball fruit. Do you think I can get it to fit inside me? <laughs> well, I can, asshole. Um, blah, 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 blah. That was that was really unrealistic, guys. Oh, look, someone left a piece of meat down here. I'm gonna gather that up and get some get some gold from it. 
I'm not even worried about leveling up. I just want gold. That's it. I'm pretty excited to see the hammerhead's ability as well, because based on the way it was eloquently described, it sounds like a lot of fun. Did you detect the hint of sarcasm I included in that statement? <laughs> it wasn't eloquent! Guys. It was illiterate. I need to kill some shit. This is taking too long. There's another Nemo. Come back here, Nemo, you sums of bitch. Come here. I'm gonna bite you in your butthole. I'm gonna join your dingle root. Wait. What are those little fellas down there? I saw another new fish, but I can't, I can't leave away. Oh shit, there we go. I can't leave Nemo yet until I uh, feast on him. Come on, eat that. Hey, you son of a bitch. People keep stealing all my meat, man. It's not fair. What are these little things? They, they really livened this place up a bit. All the creatures look new. I'm pretty sure this guy was in Nemo as well. I don't really remember what he did or what he said, but <laughs> pretty sure his dumb looking ass was in there. Why is the bridge of his nose so huge? Pretty scary looking, if you ask me. I think they should all be exterminated. There we go. Now eat his meat. Yes. Feast on it. There's a lot of ball fruits on this map now, guys. Ball fruits are plentiful, which I'm not complaining. I mean, that's a pretty good thing. Ball fruits are delicious and nutritious, so. <laughs> the more the merrier. But look, I found another one. And they give you gold too, I'm pretty sure. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they give you they give you a gold piece whenever you eat the ball fruit, which I don't understand. Then again, look at one. What the hell is up with this shit? I guess the devs saw how much I like those ball fruits and they were like, well, this guy, he's really cool, so let's go ahead and add more ball fruits to the game. Okay, I need to make a decision here. This guy or the ball fruit? That, that guy, I'm gonna kill this guy. He has more meat in him. I can get more gold from him. <laughs> Look at his little tiny fins. The way that fish is shaped seems evolutionarily flawed. He's got a giant forehead and little tiny fins that are useless, basically. Hence the reason I keep ending their lives, putting them out of their miseries, <laughs> helping them with their crippling depression. Come here, give me another ball fruit. How many ball fruits have I eaten so far? I think I've eaten like six or seven. This is, in this is insane, guys. I'm gonna set a new record in ball fruit consumption. I haven't found anything else though, so kind of sucks. There we go. I latched myself onto a pretty, pretty nice sized zebra fish. I should be able to get a couple gold coins from this fella. And I got my little helper here chewing on him as well. <laughs> He's dead. That's enough. Leave me alone. I want this all for myself. I want to be really selfish and I just want to eat all of it. Stop. Quit eating my meat. God damn it. I wish I could kill those little guys. Look, the shrimp look new. <laughs> little iso pods. He stole my friend, my little... My little isopod friend. There's another one. Come here. I want this one. Come back here before someone else eats you. Come here. <laughs> Useless little asshole. These guys look so happy whenever you kill them. They die with a smile on their face. Their big, hideously ugly, malformed face. There we go. Let's kill some red crabs. Let's kill some things that actually deserve to die. This is how I will complete my mission and gather my gold. By slaying red crabs. <laughs> Whoa. What was that thing I just saw? Hello? Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. <gasps> it's one of those, those creatures. It looks like a, uh, uh, it looks like a, um, I forget what they're called. Shit. Some type of creature. I don't know, guys. Look at these guys. What are they looking at? Are you, oh, I see what you're looking at. I'll suck it in for you. I'll, I'll be of service. Never mind. They just ran away in fear. I don't blame them, honestly, because I was planning on eating them until I saw that they, they were, they had their very own struggle. Oh boy. And then I started sympathizing with them. I'm going to get you little octopus. You can run, you little octopus, but I'm going to get you. There we go. Got my first octopus. Eh. Eh, stupid octopus. Just as delicious as I remember. I haven't been attacked by anything yet, which is kind of weird. And I don't think I was really attacked by anything in the last episode, either, when I was at the swamp. They must have made this game much easier than before. Because, man, before you just get attacked by anything. If you were moving, something would attack you. Like these guys, these dudes killed me hundreds of times before the big update. Now I'm going to kill one of them. Come here! Dick. Here we go. Da, da, da. Oh, look, his little friend's coming to help. Never mind. <laughs> his friend just ran off into the darkness. Good move, friend. I would have killed you anyways, just like your compadre I just slayed and then absorbed and then turned into gold somehow. I just killed an eel. Wow, at a pretty low level too. I guess I'm level eight. That's not that low of a level, but that's still pretty impressive. I'm pretty positive that was not possible before the update. I just need to kill one more thing and then I'll have enough gold to become the hammerhead and see exactly how awesome this creature is. Hopefully the controls are nothing like the turtle because if so, I will be very unhappy. But I don't think the hammerhead will be in any way comparable to the turtle. Mainly because one's a turtle and one's a hammerhead shark. So you guys, yeah, whatever. Now I need to find something really big that will accept me as a sacrifice so I can play as the hammerhead. That's what I usually like to do. I usually don't like to just do the fish like. I like to get in some action before I go become a new creature. I haven't seen a single 
great white shark yet. Do they still exist in the game? They'd be around normally. You'd be able to find them down here maybe. I don't know. There's a hammerhead down there. I wonder if I can take on a hammerhead as a level 9 Bilbo. Come here, hammerhead. There we go. Gah, gah, stupid hammerhead. <laughs> oh no, his big white head leaves him at a disadvantage. All right, he's killing the shit out of me, guys. I'm getting him. No, he's got me. Shit, okay. Well, I got killed by the creature I'm about to become, so. Ha <laughs> ha! Little do you know I'm about to become you, bitch. You ate me, but now I'm inside you. Soon I will take control. Like the cordyceps mushroom. <laughs> Play! There we go. Space if I'm ready. I am ready. It's dark, and I'm no longer ready. I'm just scared now. That's all. This shark looks cool as hell. I'm gonna slow down and see if I can activate my electro pulse ability or whatever the hell it is. I have to be close to the ground maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Let's get close to the ground and I'll swim slowly along the bottom and use my big, my big sensors. Hello? Any creatures around? There's a crab right there, but, oh look at him flashing. That's pretty cool. How far away does he have to be before it stops working? That was kind of interesting. I don't really know how far away he had to be before it stopped working. This ability could be complete and total garbage. Look at him flashing. That's kind of weird. That's pretty useless. I don't think that's a very good ability. All I know is I want to kill some Bebos with it. Oh my god. Please don't tell me I'm going to get killed by Bebos right off the bat. If that happens, I will be so upset. Die, Bebos! You little rat bastards! There we go. wonder if I can eat him whole. No, I can't. Shit. I'm upset now because my ability is total bogus! It kind of makes stuff flash, but not really. You have to be pretty close to it. And let's see. Let's try it on this crab right down here. There we go. So the crab is flashing. Definitely you can see him flashing. But he just stops flashing when he gets far away. Well, if he's within flashing distance, I can see him! It's not like there's creatures hiding underneath the sand that I'm not able to see, unless that's a feature they plan to add later on. Right now, the Hammerhead's ability is complete and total bogus, because I have eyeballs. What's this here? <laughs> it's something dead. I'm gonna poke it with my giant Hammerhead. Yeah. Well, I guess my goal now is to become huge and kill some stuff. And, uh, oh shit, I'm being killed now. Okay, stop killing me, guys. All right, as soon as I name my goal publicly, I, I get I get gangbanged by a bunch of a bunch of rascals. Do you see that? That's what happens whenever I get to a high level fish, guys. I just get murked, and it's not fair at all. How long did I play as the hammerhead? Like five minutes? <laughs> and now my flesh was eaten by a bunch of demon fish. Cool. Excellent. Look, they're still eating me. They're still eating my delicious salmon. That's right. I hope you guys enjoy that. I worked hard. I worked really hard, man. All right. Well, yet another disappointment. So, I guess I can spawn to something else and do do some more exploring before I cry a little bit here. You know what? I'm gonna try Crab Madness and see if that's tra changed at all. I have a feeling this is gonna be incredibly hard now. It's really strange because the game feels easier, but it also feels harder. Less things attack you, but when you go to attack things, you get killed a lot more. So it doesn't make any sense. I will be the King Crab and I will judge whether or not I like this. Look at that poor happy guy getting gang banged by a bunch of Bebos. I know how it feels, friend! Look, there's another one getting killed. <laughs> this thing's are totally useless, man. This feels familiar, but it, everything looks different. Everything looks darker than it used to. It's kind of scary, uh, to be honest. Oh, there's a little isopod. Come here, you little isopod son of a bitch. There's another one. Get back here, you little rascal. What is the point of those things? Do they just float around the map, just doing nothing? Like a little paper airplane that never stops? Is that what they are? I want to go see what the bad guy King Crab looks. The purple, the usurper. The purple usurper. <laughs> Sounds like some sort of superhero or something. Or villain. I don't know. Purple usurper. All I know is I'm going to kill him. Not really. I'm definitely going to die. I'm only level one right now. Well, hello there, purple usurper. How you doing, buddy? Oh, shit. I'm being killed. I'm being killed by the purple usurpers. Ow! Stop it! Ow! Treat your fellow king with respect! Is that how you treat outsiders? You, you, xenophobic... Son of a bitches, what just happened? Thank you all for watching this episode of Feed and Grow Fish. I really hope you guys enjoyed. What the hell keeps happening? If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. Now, we'll see you in the next episode when I elongate my head and use my electric signals to sense other creatures and kill them or something. But after I elongate my head like this, I'm going to elongate my head. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to elongate my head.